Hello and welcome to part two of rebuilding a Rob Roy 3.5 inch gauge locomotive. Today on this video we're going to be doing some work on the boiler and a bit of a repair on one of the rear axle boxes. I had rather a bad leak in the roof so I had to move everything to the one side of the workshop to keep it all dry. I made a temporary fix so next time it should be tidier for the video. As you can see at the moment I'm just marking out to cut out the sides of the boiler using 1.6mm bright mild steel. I don't know where I got this from. I think I just found it in the bin at work. It was going to go to the, the scrap man anyway, so I thought I'd have it. You can see you got the uh, trusty old angle grinder out. It's a nice one I bought a little while ago. It's a key part of any workshop. I know it's not exactly the finest of tools, but it seems to hog out material pretty well. And for cutting this sheet, it's more than more than adequate. See, it made light work of it. So, made a nicely fitting side plate for the boiler. Cut the angle on the bottom off camera, obviously. Uh, thought it'd get pretty boring just watching me do loads of cutting with the angle grinder. And I thought I'd just kick the end over to follow the contour of the boiler to get phosphorus bronze. So it's not going to mark the steel. Not that it really matters. But using a rubber mallet on it. Might as well do the job properly if it's worth doing. As you can see I've had to start the bench grinder slash sander by hand. I think it might be a starter gone in it but if anyone knows different to me as to why it won't start itself then please let me know in the comments. I'm not sure I've got enough viewers to really get any feedback yet but if someone knows please uh, let me know. So yeah, anyway, with this rebuild, it's it's kind of sympathetic. Um, I'm just trying to make the best of what I've got with what I've already built. So I'm not going to go too crazy, or else I may as well just make the whole locomotive from the beginning again. Of course, on future projects, I'll have learned from this one, and I'll know what I need to do and how I need to do it. As you can see here, I've used marking out blue. It's uh, a lot better than using black marker pens. You can see a lot better. And it's just easier to apply as well because my marker pens seem to freeze overnight in the shed. You see it's pretty cold. You can probably see me breath at points. So I rather enjoy fabrication because although it's, it's fairly precise, it's not completely precision engineering. It might mean you're just cutting metal sheets to fit others and the weld fills some of the gap and uh, or solder and you're just trying to make it look pretty and neat I mean I'll still get it pretty precise but as you can see it just requires saw cuts and a bit of filing here and there so it's nothing too precise you wouldn't use a micrometer on it now well, this is a bit of a tangent gonna move on to a replacement axle box for the rear a blank I milled earlier to inch square, probably half inch thick, maybe. I don't know, it's probably half inch thick, I think it was. <coughs> Three eighths inch slot for through it. And leave a sixteenth either side. See, I'm just setting the depth now to zero on the top, and then I'll move it down to about a sixteenth below the surface. 0 0.0625. These are gunmetal, I believe, these axle boxes, gunmetal castings, and as you can see, the quarter inch end mill cuts through them like butter. I did have a 3 8 inch end mill somewhere, but I seem to have lost it in the shed. As you know, things do do runners over time. Never find them again until you don't need them, of course. See, I did the reamer wrong. I left too much material in, but it's an old cheap crappy reamer and I thought well I'll just whack it through it's only doing two axle boxes maybe three maximum there's the new one and that's the old one see the difference 
One's got a lot of play, one hasn't. Uh, I think the front left one needs redoing, but the rest will be okay for what I need. It'll help it go around corners, I guess. And the axle spins quite freely. In the next episode, I'll be making the axle, fitting two wheels and re-quartering them. I also should have the boiler welded by then. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to catch the next video.